All right, at this point we're ready to install our data collector software. I already have that uh, the ISO for the installer uh, staged here on this Windows server and I've moved uh, the data collector key that was generated when we defined the data collector on the portal. I've moved it here to the data collector. So let's go ahead and kick that off. We'll mount the installation ISO. We'll run it as administrator. Click next. Very rapid little environment check. As we've seen with our the Veritas software, we review the license agreement. We must accept to proceed. You could either um, accept the default, which I'll do in this case, or you would have the option to go ahead and choose a different installation location. Click, click next. Now comes our opportunity to make sure that we get things right. Now, if you've already forgotten what your data collector name was when you defined it, it's a, a trick that I use is to go ahead and find that key file to begin with, and then I can immediately have available to me the reminder that I called this data collector Windows underscore DC. And the passcode that we entered for that was passcode. We could actually go into the portal and look at that if we needed to. And last but not least would be our URL for the data receiver, IT analytics agent dot rsv dot lab for this environment. If everything uh, is correct, in this case there are no, there should be no need for proxies in this this environment, this subnet. Click next. Next again. binary files get laid down and one of the last things that the installer does that we can see happening is it's actually defining a series of services specifically for uh, the IT analytics agent uh, data collector excuse me we click next and I choose run later the reason for that is that for the first time installation like we've just completed uh, we will need to go ahead and start the services so that the, um, the installation is completely running. So we fit, hit finish and there's uh, we could run we could start those services from the command prompt or um, simpler for me is just to open up our in Windows go, go to our services app and we'll see that uh, immediately following installation, our WMI server is already running. And then what we need to do is go ahead and start our agent. And that starts up the Kafka and the Zookeeper services as well. Now that we've done that, what we should be able to do is go back into our portal now that we can, uh, we've edited in, what we can do is try to test our connection. Now that our data collector is installed, we'll see if we can uh, connect to that master server. And we're getting an affirmative handshake that uh, our master server has been reached. It's validating the net backup version and it attempts to run a quick command because this is a SSH or WMI protocol, the data collector says, okay, uh, event monitor probe is going to be disabled. And it also tested our REST login. So with all cases, this all looks great. And at this point, what we can do is click OK. And we could wait for regular scheduled collection to occur, or particularly for your first installation and you know first configuration for, a, let's say, a new master server, we can go in and we can choose run and we can choose the probes that we'd like to have executed and let those go ahead and complete. You'll notice that we can enable real-time logs for visibility purposes while this on-demand run is occurring. And let's just go ahead and start it. 
Data collector is always in charge of communication. So at the moment that I've issued usually a new request for collection to occur, the data collector will be checking in. If it's already in communication with the portal, it'll see this change new request happen very quickly. And if we want to look at any changes in status, we can see that our backup resources monitor is running. And then we can see that the on-demand run that we've just asked for is queued up for the, the probes. At this stage, we just let the probe run. And one thing you'll note here is that these icons are going to show the most pessimistic state for whatever probes have run or have not yet run. So if we click into this red X, we will see that all of our on-demand, not yet ever run probes have had their showing as a quote unquote failure. So don't worry about that initially, just let it happen. After the, the environment is running the way we'd like it to, you won't see those false flags. The other thing now that we are collecting with a uh, with real time run, we'll notice this icon, which is new new to Net Backup IT Analytics, which is allowing us to see, essentially echo back the logs that are being written during data collection. When you run a run command for whatever collector is is executing, it puts the log level into a very verbose state, and then it also is simultaneously writing raw data and you can use this if you're wanting to see some information about what's, what's happening. These are definitely not for casual reading, but it, is, it also, particularly if you're having an initial outright early failure, these logs can be extremely helpful to just simply see, for example, that right out of the chute, you may be seeing, for example, that uh, if data collector hypothetically might not be able to find the master server in this case, that it might not be able to affect an SSH connection or a WMI connection, that it might be having problems with permission to run a particular command, etc. In this case, we're seeing evidence that things are looking good. We're getting information back. We're posting information uh, into the database so we can close this log and just let these probes run. This is not a particularly busy server. It's actually very, very light with just a few small jobs and clients. And so the collection process happens very quickly. For large production servers, the initial collection can take a while as we pull in all the base data for policies, lifecycle policies, clients, media servers, all the media, you know, all the content that comes back from the system. So at this juncture, notice that our icon has gone to green, indicating success. If we click into that, we'll see that most of our collectors have been successful. The only one that wasn't successful is license details. If we want details about that, we can see that it's un unable to find data for a certain issue. Don't need to worry about this one at this moment in time. Otherwise, other probes are successful, including our job details on demand. That concludes collection for IT Analytics Foundation from a NetBackup instance.